Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will explain the use of machine vision to follow lines. You can find white lines on black background or black lines on white background. You can apply this function to your robot. This tutorial will not specifically explain the installation of OpenCV and related dependent libraries. You can refer to the previous tutorial of OpenCV real-time video transmission to install OpenCV and understand the program of video transmission. This episode focuses on how to use OpenCV and NumPy to analyze the position of the black or white lines in the picture. So here we also need to include a NumPy library and instantiate it as NP. Here are some settings for video transmission. With that, you can see the pictures of the Raspberry Pi camera from other computers, even if the Raspberry Pi is not connected to a monitor. The line position one and line position two variables are used to set the position of the line you need to analyze in the picture. 380 represents the pixels on line 380, and 430 represents the pixels on line 430. This function is applied to the robot car. Set these two parameters to a lower position because the upper part may be the sky or other objects other than the ground. This will affect the accuracy of the machine vision. Line color set. Select your line color. If it is white, set it to 255. If it is black, set it to zero. For better explanation, we set it to look for white lines. Here we capture the camera picture and convert it to black and white. Use the OSTU method for image segmentation. The erode function can be used to erode the noise in the picture and the blurred edges of the object boundary. Color position one and color position two are the array of pixels in line position one and line position two, respectively, in the picture. Next, start analyzing these two arrays because the picture has been processed by OTSU method. The value of pixels in the picture is either zero or two hundred fifty-five. Zero is black, and two hundred fifty-five is white. In these two lines, we count the number of white pixels in color position one and color position two, respectively. Here, we get the position of the white pixels in color position one and color position two. Assign a value of zero to one to avoid errors. Get the left and right edge positions of the white line in line position one in the picture. Left position one and right position one are respectively the horizontal positions of the left edge and right edge of the white line in this line. Add and divide by two to get the midpoint center position one in line position one of the white line. In the same way, get the midpoint center position two in line position two. Add the midpoints and divide by two to get the position center of the white line. Of course, you can also use center position one or center position two to get the midpoint of the white line in this line. You can use this center value to control the steering of your robot. The next part looks a bit complicated. Actually, these codes are just to draw some marker lines in the picture. The parameter needed to pass in first of the line function is the picture where you draw the line, and then pass in the x y values of the starting point of the line you draw, and then pass in the x y values of the end position, then pass in the R G B value of the color of the line you draw, and finally set the width of the line. At the end of the program, send the image processed by Open C V to the video receiving end. Run cvline.py in Raspberry Pi. Run pc.py in the PC, and you can see the real-time picture of the line following. The code of pc.py is the same as the code in the last OpenCV real-time transmission tutorial. This is all for this time. Thanks for watching.